My friends, let's do a reading. Let's see what's coming towards you. I grabbed this deck, which is just like an Oracle Intuit Oracle deck. So let's see what's coming towards you. Um, sometimes when I grab this one, it's like new love, but we'll see. Um, I always find that when I grab this one, sometimes it kind of turns into new love, but let's have a look. New doesn't have to be a new person either. Right on, the, listen, when I first started this, um, obstacles was on the bottom and I immediately thought some kind of obstacle is being like broken down, removed, um, so that this can come in, whatever it is. And we do have stars, wishes do come true. Um, hopeful, falling in love. So something you've been wishing for is happening here after a time of perhaps upheaval tower energy. Um, this is Six of Cups energy. This is Six of Cups energy. Hang on. So we have wishes coming true. Um, and like I said, Six of Cups energy. So it could be a soulmate that's coming in. Maybe you've been wishing for a soulmate. This could be returning. Six of Cups could be returning. Um, tell us more, Spirit. Tell us more. The stars are aligning is what it looks like. After a time of upheaval, a tower moment. We have Wolverine 20, Judgment Energy, and an Ace. So it feels like there's a release, or, and then there's new, like you release someone else and get closure. Or this is, you know, a conversation with someone from your past who's making you an offer. Um, we have Wolverine, Fierce, Unpredictable, Wild, Power Struggles. So this could have been someone that you had power struggles with. I'm looking at my divine counterparts. <laughs> Um, anyway, interesting 20, uh, judgment energy. And we have the king of earth. We have Capricorn, king of earth. From December 22nd to January 21st could be symbolic. Um, the devil energy. So it could be someone that you had a codependent attachment to. Um, I'm going to get more, but I'm seeing how this could be two different things. This could be someone who you have kind of that unbreakable bond with. Or it could be that you've released yourself from a toxic situation. And now this is new. Um, I'll put him the deck energy. Let's keep going. What else do we need to know about this? I'm almost feeling tempted to stop and get tarot. Um, we have Crossroads, 22, Queen of Pentacles. Crossroads, Journey, Multiple Choice, Weighing the Options, Decide, Free Will, Independent. Um, this is very interesting. It feels like you're going to have more than one option. Um, so it feels like you could be attracting in new and returning. Maybe there's already two people in your energy right now. Maybe you're confused. Um, interesting. And we see two paths here. And I just want to remind you that, you know, what's meant for you will not pass you by no matter what path you choose. Um, trust in your higher self. We also have communication here. Um, seven of swords. So this could be communication that, you know, someone's been, communication of someone who's been avoiding you. Communication from someone who was maybe toxic in the past. Communication, the bridge. <laughs> This could have been someone who burned their bridges with you. I'm hearing this is this person coming back in a new light um, because I've got two about communication here. Harmony, compromise, overcoming barriers. <laughs> the first card on the bottom was obstacles and barriers. And I was saying I felt like this reading was going to be about some kind of blockage being removed. Um, and that's exactly what we have here. 12 is like hanged man energy. We also have the suit of clubs here, which is wands. <laughs> wands. Yes, wands. Um, so it could have been that four of wands. Interesting. That's interesting. I don't know why I just heard that. Anyway, um, with that bridge, hanged man energy, I do feel like it's someone that maybe, you know, I don't know why I'm here burning bridges, but I'm hearing burning bridges. And I feel like that's who's coming towards you. You have two cards about communication and then you have a choice. Like what path will you choose? And this is Queen of Pentacles energy. So it almost feels like, are you going to choose the path with this person or are you going to stay 
on this more stable path that you've built for yourself, or maybe there's another path, you know, maybe there's someone else, but anyway, interesting. Let's just get a few more of these and then we'll get tarot. There's like no bottom of the deck energy every time. Interesting. Now we've got the seven of wands. So it feels like this is a connection where maybe someone was in denial about it. Um, we have anxiety. So you could be very anxious about this connection. If you look at those two little mice, very symbolic of like the seven of wands when you see someone kind of defending. So it could have been, remember that control issue. You and this person could have, oh my goodness, you and this person could have, I'm hearing a song. I'm hearing um, a Taylor Swift song where she's like, where she's saying, we've created quite a mess, babe. Um, I almost do. Anyway, uh, this looks like two people, you know, who maybe had their defenses up. Maybe spiritual lessons, 23 each equals five. Maybe there were some spiritual lessons that needed to be Hierophant energy learned before you could come together. It could also be that this person denied the spiritual connection. We've got storm brewing. Storm is a brewing. Eight. I just heard hold on to your butts, which is from Jurassic Park. Hold on to your butts. Um, storm brewing. Breakdown. And look, we have a tornado. And look at that road. Interesting. Let's get a few more. Something is coming. <laughs> we have house, which is king of cups energy. King of cups, house, home, belonging, roots, comfort, safety, family, traditions, boundaries, building a strong foundation. I'm also getting four of wands energy from this card. Building a strong foundation, you know, putting up healthy boundaries, um, coming home to each other, I'm hearing. Ship. Ship, what you need arrives. Traveling, three of, well, interesting. We've got the, the 10 of wands here, but there's a three on the boat, which makes me think, the fact that there's a boat and a three makes me think of three of wands. Um, also, we have 10 of, no, that's 10 of swords. So it feels like 10 of swords. It feels like leaving the past behind. Um... We have movement, travel, vacation, going places. So it feels like the two of you are moving towards each other. Anytime I see a boat, I see there's a very specific boat card that says um, receiving what you need. So whatever you need in this situation is coming in. Whether that's closure so that you can move on. Interesting. That's the first time there's been bottom of the deck. So whether it's closure so you can move on or whether it's, you know, leaving the past in the past, having an ego death, um, this cycle coming to an end so that a new one can start. We have, yes, the time has come. Completion, fulfillment, um, fruits of your labor, release for some of you. Fall, full moon. So something could be happening in the fall. This could all be kicking off in the fall. Go ahead and try out new things. Don't be afraid of changes. That was your uh, little affirmation that popped down. We have divine timing. So whatever this is had to happen in divine timing. We have the page of swords. So this person could be watching you right now. Look, destiny. Mm, destiny. Spirituality. Divine guidance. So this is someone who's letting their intuition guide them right now um 36 it's like they're realizing that you're the empress that you're their lover that lover connection divine love fate it says emotional loss so i hate to say this but it could be that your person goes through some type of emotional loss and then reaches out to you for comfort um i'm sending them peace and love and we have the Hierophant. What was I just saying about the Hierophant? Spiritual connection. Anyway. Um, the Hierophant. Stable. Stubborn. 
possessive, persevering, down to earth. Anyway, hierophant energy. And we've got the king and queen of earth, which I think is very interesting. It's coming up as hierophant and devil energy, but king and queen. So anyway, king and queen of earth, a match. Let's just get a few more. I know I keep saying that. I'm just, I do it until spirit tells me to stop. What do we need to hear about this connection? We have... Eight and an ace, so transitions, um, leaving your old, leaving the past behind like I was talking about. And this says, things work against you, but persistence pays off. Uh, new things on the horizon determined. The beaver. I did a reading yesterday where the beaver came out. And we have 22, compass, true north, life path, seeking truth, making a plan. So it feels like, you know, maybe you've been persistent about being patient and waiting for divine timing and all that jazz, um, and your persistence is paying off here. Do I want to go one more? Spirit's telling me to go one more time. One more. I just saw the sun. One more. Let's see what comes out. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> we have magnet. I don't know if you guys caught what card that was that wanted to come out so clearly. It like climbed on top of my fingers. Uh, we have magnet 20, 32. And earlier I pointed out 23 to you. So look up 2332. Angel number. Especially if you're a twin flame. Look up the twin flame number. Longing, desire, gravity, magnetic attraction. So it feels like you may be in a higher vibrational frequency and pulling this person in. I feel like you're pulling multiple people in. This is a little um, earth there. So maybe, you know, maybe you have gone through some type of completion where you're vibing high, you know? And look, this is the one that came out. This is the one that like crawled on top of my hand. Like it, it felt a little weird. I'm not going to lie. Because it really wanted to come out, Twin Flames. Uh, divine Partner, Soulmate, Activated Heart Chakra. Magnet, Activated Heart Chakra. Balancing Yin and Yang, Energy, Reflection, Other Self, Catalyst, Awakening, Mirror, Reflection. Um, anyway, Spirit's telling me to stop there. We have the Magician. We have the Sun! Didn't I say I saw the Sun? <laughs> divine Masculine Energy. Um, interesting. We also have the moon in the dog card, which is like 10 of cups and actually 18 divine feminine energy. You know, maybe you're not, um, I don't know why I'm saying this, but maybe you're in black cat energy. You're no longer in golden retriever energy. Again, I'm not trying to insult anybody by saying that I am, I am a golden retriever myself. Um, we have the sun card. So that's the happiest card in the deck. We have self-realization. So I feel like you and this person, counterparts, have realized a lot about this connection and the fact that you can't let it go. Um, and we, yeah, we have the magician communication confirmed here. So let's get tarot. Let's get some tarot for these cards. Look, no back of the deck energy. Spirit says, nope. <laughs> 333 three, three on the timer. The deck that I chose has the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. How interesting. And the Sun! <laughs> and the Six of Pentacles equal give and take. Beautiful. Hmm. Interesting. So you could be dealing with the Divine Masculine. Um, with the Ten of Pentacles, I always hear family. So it could have been that there was like outside opinion. Um, maybe this person had a family and couldn't give energy to this connection, but we'll see. We'll see what this is about. So we have the four of swords in reverse coming out of no contact, coming out of that break. We were on a break. Reigniting of passions. Every time I say that, I hear the passion theme song every dang time, every dang time. Every dang time. Let's cut the deck. What do we have? We've got the King of Cups, which came out in your reading. And the Three of Wands, forward movement. 
What was that card? Oh, that was the Ten of Swords. Anyway, three. Three of Wands. Um, King of Cups. And, you know, if you look at this, it looks like this person's getting their... Like, getting back on the ride. Um, all I mean by that is, like... If you've been repeating cycles with this person, this person looks, you know, like they're ready to reveal their emotions towards you and kind of sit in those emotions. Um, but again, I keep hearing get back on the ride because if you look at this card, this person is clearly on some type of ride, some type of roller coaster or something. Um, and I just think of the Wheel of Fortune, you know, getting back, spinning that wheel again. Um, so yeah, you've got the King of Cups and then you've got, very interesting, you have the Three of Wands, so forward movement. I'm going to start showing you the cards closer because I like it. <laughs> and we have Five of Pentacles in reverse, somebody wanting to come in out of the cold, someone missing your energy. Knock on the door, hello. Um, Nine of Pentacles is here as well. So you could very much be in Nine of Pentacles energy, you know, very independent, attracting energy in. Anyway, interesting. Interesting. I know the King of Cups came out in your reading. I saw it. It was the home card, King of Cups. Um, I'm coming home. That song could be symbolic. What do we want to do here? Do I want to do a you and them? Do I want to ask who this is? <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Who is this, Spirit? Who is this? We've got the Page of Pentacles. Someone who owes you an apology. Someone who could be younger than you. Someone who may have been working on this apology for a while. This is someone who, Page of Pentacles, could be an Earth sign. Um, I'm saying that because we had the King and Queen of Earth come out in, in your reading. This could be a student, even, I'm hearing. Someone who's a student, but... You know, this is someone who's focused on their growth. This is someone who seems to be coming towards you with a stable offer. Page of Pentacles, it's a page. So it can be a small offer, but it's also an offer that's meant to cause stability, to ground. Um, anyway. I feel like this is someone who's done a lot of reflecting with this imagery. And what was the other one? We've got Justice. So someone who could owe you an apology, someone who maybe learned a karmic lesson, um, someone who may be going through legal, legal matters, legal matters might be a thing here. Maybe there's someone going through legal matters. Let's look at their energy. What is their current energy? This person. Interesting. We've got the Queen of Swords and the Lovers. And the Page of Cups, it's that energy of like wanting to come in with an offer, but being nervous, very nervous, very scared. Remember that mice card said nervous, ill, fatigued. I'm hearing like maybe this person is going through um, ascension symptoms, so they think that they're not feeling well. Anyway, this is someone who wants to tell you the truth, who wants to be authentic with you. Um, the energy that they're in, there could be a boundary here. So maybe you have them blocked or they have you blocked. But this is someone who wants you to choose them. Um, this could also be, I don't know why I'm hearing this. I don't normally hear this. This could be someone with an ex that was still in the picture um, who needed to, who's now making the choice to cut off that ex. Um, anyway. I see this more like this is someone who's nervous of coming towards you with this offer. Um, they keep coming up in page. This is really interesting. They keep coming up in like page energy. So it's this ener it's like a more immature energy. And look, six of wands. So that twin flame card came out. You could be a divine feminine who's like glowing right now, attracting a lot of attention. It could have even been that you triggered this person's ego. Like maybe they felt competitive with you in some way. Maybe they felt jealous of you. Um, I don't normally get that with the Six of Wands, but I'm getting it with this energy. Um, but yeah, we have someone here riding a tiger. And a tiger can be very symbolic of divine feminine energy. Um, anyway, that's what we're seeing. It could be that this person wants to approach you online. I'm also seeing the Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Wands. 
So someone wanting to stop holding back from you, four of swords in reverse as well. Um, someone wanting to hold, stop holding back from you, 444 four, four could be symbolic. I could also see this as someone leaving a marriage. And let me explain why I'm saying that specifically is because we've got a choice and we've got this energy of an ex. Um, not necessarily, I just want to mention it for those who are resonating with it. And then we have four of pentacles in reverse, someone freeing themselves from a low vibrational energy, someone freeing themselves from perhaps a foundation that was no longer fulfilling them, walking away from a marriage, four of wands. Um, for those of you who are not resonating with that, it's that this person is nervous to come towards you because they feel this boundary. And this four of pentacles is them wanting to reignite things here, wanting to come out of that no contact four of wands union um anyway i don't know why i'm throwing those down i need them let's keep them anyway interesting so i'm actually going to keep that queen of swords right there so let's see how this person is feeling about you we've got the queen of cups right away they were coming up as the queen blah 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 they were coming up as the king of cups. You're coming up as the queen of cups. This is counterpart energy, okay? The king and queen of earth. Now we've got the king and queen of water. Um, very symbolic how the energies are lining up. Counterpart energy. Remember that twin flame card. So this person feels intuitively drawn to you. This person has a lot of love for you. You could have overgiven to this person. And maybe, you know, that really intensified this person. I also feel really called to tell you in the beginning that, just let me look, that King of Cups was by the Three of Wands. Forward motion, um, progression, forward movement, making plans, coming towards you, ships arriving. Where is it? <laughs> Where are you? I just want to show them. There it is. I just have to show you this. Because this is how they feel about you. And yes, you've grown legs. But I just, I feel there's like a synchronicity there. That this person is feeling like it's time to come towards you, you know? Um, you could be quite magical. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but you could be quite magical. Um, and maybe, you know, this person feels like they miss your magic because in this image, this person is in a cave kind of protecting their energy and they, they don't look like that mermaid. To me, that Queen of Cups looks like she should be a mermaid, but she's got human legs on her right here. So it feels to me like this person is missing your magic, missing your energy. Maybe you have a very special loving way with them, you know? Interesting. And I ended up, when I did that, I ended up with King of Cups on the bottom. Wanting to get back on that ride again. Not in that way, but maybe. <laughs> um, let's get another one for how they're feeling about you. Let's see. What are you? We've got the Ten of Wands in reverse. So this person is ready to come towards you. Remember, the t I think the Ten of Wands came out in the Oracle cards. Um, this person is ready to leave the past in the past is what I'm hearing. This is someone who's ready to put down that baggage and travel towards you. There could be travel here. Um, Ten of Wands in reverse, wanting to lighten that load, wanting to open up, you know, their suitcases and not bring it with them. And, you know, Ten of Wands in reverse, look at that world behind that person. And that magnet card came out and I showed you the world. So I feel like you're calling this person in energetically. We've got the nine of cups on the bottom. So this person clearly feels like you're their wish fulfillment here. Ooh, that's an interesting song. I'm hearing a song from Never Been Kissed. What song is it? As soon as I started saying that, something took over my brain and started singing, not singing, 
something in my brain took over and went to the movie about love, blah, blah, love actually. And I started to hear, take a shiny star and put it in your pocket. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I'm hearing that. Love actually could be symbolic. Um, interesting. What was the song I was hearing from Never Been Kissed? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> never been kissed. We'll never know. <laughs> anyway. Four of Wands! I didn't even ask a question! Oh! For how they're feeling about you. Maybe their wish is to marry you, like, deep down. Seriously. Um, I didn't even ask a question. I was still kind of in the energy of how they feel about you. I need to go look up that song. Hang on. It is that song. It's Catch a Falling Star by Block. And it was in the movie Never Been Kissed. And there's three, like, I know this is weird. I know this sounds bizarre, but I'm going to mention it. There were three cigarettes on, with brown, brown tips. I know that sounds weird that I'm mentioning this, but I know that someone's going to resonate with this. There were three cigarettes on the cover of this album, which made me think of like three of sorts. Um, it also made me think of three of wands. Anyway, smoking cigarettes could be symbolic, the brown tips specifically. I know that sounds weird, but I don't hear these things for no reason. Anyway, it is that, it is that song that the kids sang in that movie, but it's Catch a Falling Star by Block. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> So that came up that your person like wanted you to know that that they visualize that, they imagine that. Beautiful. Interesting. I was like, who is that bride dancing with? I couldn't figure it out. I still can't figure it out. Who is that bride dancing with? Herself? Is that symbolic to you? That bride isn't dancing with anyone. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see their intentions towards you. What are their intentions? We've got the seven of swords in reverse. The wheel of fortune. Getting back on the ride. Ending a cycle. Coming out of hiding. Seven of swords in reverse. Did the Seven of Swords come out in those Oracle cards? I feel like they did. Seven of Wands did, I know. Um, but this person's intentions to get back on the ride. What did I tell you? To come out of hiding. To stop running, I'm hearing. To stop holding back. Because clearly this person is holding back from you. Um, and we've got King of Pentacles on the bottom. Interesting. Your person's coming up as the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Um... I'm not getting that there's like, maybe there's someone else in your energy, but I feel like this is more about this person evolving. Ace of Swords, communication and clarity. Stable offer, King of Pentacles. Maybe that looks like your person. And we've got Ace of Swords, communication. And what's interesting is I'm hearing cutting through deception because we've got the seven. Oh, the world is here. I didn't even see that card. Where did that seven of wands go? Seven of swords. Did I put it on the bottom? Did I put it on the top? That's weird. Oh, it's right here. It flipped up on its side, so I couldn't see it. Anyway, um, world energy closing the distance, completing a cycle. And what I'm hearing with that ace of swords cutting through deception, the truth about possible deception or... You know, just the truth about whatever this person did here. Um, interesting. Let's leave Seven of Swords there. Let's see their next actions. Let's see their next actions. What do we got? We've got the Two of Cups. What's on the bottom? We've got Death and Rebirth. Beautiful. King of Swords. Truth and Clarity. Two of Cups. Their next actions. Death transformation transition i'm hearing um perhaps like fresh start that's what i'm hearing and we've got the king of swords what's underneath the king of swords we've got divine feminine energy the moon anyway now we've got all the kings except the wand 
and the emperor. So this person's intentions. No, this is their actions to bring you truth and clarity. And remember that... Oh dear, hang on. <laughs> I was like, why do I hear water running? <laughs> My cat was peeing. <laughs> anyway, I paused it so you didn't have to listen to it. You're welcome. <laughs> um. Anyway, this person coming forward with truth and clarity. A love offer, two of cups. Um... Wanting a fresh start with you. What do we need to know about this person? We've got the chariot. The chariot's coming off the top here. What do we need to know about this person's spirit? We've got the six of wands. Remember. Remember I said this person may be intimidated by you, especially if you're in the spotlight. Page of cups. What do we need to know about this person? This person's intimidated to approach you. This person may have put you on a pedestal, you know, and maybe that was part of, like, maybe you triggered their ego because you're so freaking amazing. Um, but this also feels, my dogs are freaking out, this also feels what you need to know about this person. If you thought that they're, like, if you thought that there was no hope for this person, I feel like you were wrong because this card represents, like, miracles. Um, it can be an, an offer of love. But it can be like dreams coming true. Things you thought would never happen happening. Page of Cups energy. And we have temperance. So whatever this has happened in order to cause balance in this connection. And, you know, for what you need to know about this person, I feel like they're being patient. I feel like there's a reason they're not coming in, like all guns blazing. It's because they're trying to do this right, I'm hearing. Um, interesting. There's something about balance here because we have temperance in the two of pentacles. So there could have been a lack of imbalance. Um, and maybe this person's trying to find balance in their life before coming back in. Um, interesting. Wally's here to say hello after he, you know, emptied his bladder. <laughs> Let's see the future. What's coming near future? We've got the star and the three of swords interesting it's like the end of stagnant energy here remember that blockage remember the blockage first card out star it feels to me like there's forgiveness here near near future energy confirmation uh that's not in reverse confirmation um when i was saying that you know energy was trying to escape there so Anyway, near future energy, we do have wish fulfillment. Again, this person could have to approach you online or maybe you're just, you know, maybe they just like look up to you and are mesmerized by you. There's this energy of like being intimidated to approach such a beautiful person. I don't, anyway. Um, three of swords in reverse can be forgiveness, healing, um, an apology. This person not letting you go here with the star. Let's get one more for that. Let's get one more confirmation for that. We've got we've got a lot. Oh, four of cups in reverse. What's happening? We had four of swords in reverse. Four of cups in reverse. Four of pentacles in reverse. And the four of wands in the upright. And the four of cups in reverse is someone taking action, someone not wanting to miss out on you. You know, they don't want you to be a missed opportunity. We've got six of swords and the fool. So remember, this is near future energy. This was confirming the star wish fulfillment. So it looks like this person is coming in very transformed. I feel like maybe you knew them when they were a tadpole. I almost said bottom feeder. Um, and now they're coming out of this jar after hibernation, hermit energy, taking a leap of faith. Six of swords is the energy of reconnection. Four of cups in reverse, an offer. Um, beautiful. Five of swords in reverse as well, which is reconnecting after a disconnect. Amazing. Let's see the future of this connection. What is the future? Four of swords in reverse, rekindling, not rekindling, reigniting of passions, coming out of break energy. We've also got the knight of wands, which is very interesting because the sun, 
Because I've been, sorry, I didn't mean to slam that down. I've been talking about this card right here, about divine feminine energy, and about how I feel like maybe this person, there was an intimidation there. They needed to, you know, work on their confidence before coming back in. And here we have the cheetah, which is divine masculine energy. So you've got future energy, this person having the guts, having the cojones, whatever, to come towards you here. I don't know why I hear things like that, but I say it. Um, it's what spirit tells me to say. Um, but this is like this person having the confidence to approach this divine feminine. The divine masculine approaches. Remember the white wizard approaches. Anyway, interesting. I'm just going to get a few of these truth cards that I got yesterday just to see if there's any confirmation in them. So let's have a look at the bottom of the deck energy. We've got missing you, longing to be with you again. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, well, first of all, we've got missing you, longing. Um, you could be feeling a pull on this person's energy. We also have unfulfilled emotional or physical needs unmet. I need more love. So it feels to me like this person wasn't giving you, Queen of Cups, the love and possibly attention that you deserved. And perhaps you did need more love. And perhaps that was a sign to you that you needed to find that love within yourself and focus on, you know, self-love. Um, anyway, I feel like this is someone who didn't meet your needs, is longing for you now, thinking about you. Um, oh my gosh! <gasps> I was hearing the song I Almost Do by Taylor Swift and one of the lines in it, she talks about that line, we've made quite a mess. Um, but one of them is about wondering if her person is looking out the window at night thinking of her. I just think that's really interesting because this person is looking out the window. Um, very interesting. You could resonate with that song. Let's see what else comes out. What else do we need to know about this connection? Nope. What else do we need? To, this, the name Andy could be symbolic. Sorry, <laughs> I just had to say it. I had... Ah! <laughs> obstacles! Overcoming obstacles! The first card on the bottom of the deck in that other deck. Beautiful. Um, like I said, the name Andy could be symbolic. Um, don't ask me why, but it could be. Um, or Andrew, I guess. Um, or Andrea. Um, overcoming differences together. Interesting. We also have toxic, unhealthy relationship patterns. So you and this person could have been stuck in unhealthy patterns. I'm even hearing because of your parents. Actually, when I was looking at this, overcoming obstacles together, I was hearing, um, look, um, oh, oh, Titanic could be symbolic. Anyway, it's, um, I was hearing the song Ripple Effect by Scotty Hellman. I've been hearing that a lot lately. And one of the things in that song that, Scotty Hellman talks about is we're just drowning in our parents' history. It's not really about you and it's not really about me. We're just drowning in our parents' history. So please, can we try something new? Because I want to spend my time or life with you. Anyway, I don't hear these songs for no reason. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> else do we need to know here we have oh thank you spirit that came out earlier and I was supposed to mention it because I kept envisioning your person getting back on the ride the wheel of fortune um round and round cycle of high and low emotions with no resolve I feel like that's this connection in the past and now we have better now healing wounds within the relationship so it feels to me like Four of Swords energy, you're both healing separation, but that it's helping this connection. Um, it's having a ripple effect. 
Let's get one more. One more. We have break. <laughs> Time apart will be beneficial to this connection. And what was I just saying? Separation. You two aren't even touching. And then we have forgiveness. Forgiving will benefit this relationship. So maybe you're holding on to some resentment. It could also be that, you know, when this person comes in, this is Spirit's way of saying to hear them out, to forgive them. Um, take it as you will. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. 444 on the timer, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Look up those songs. <laughs>